more than 2,000 years since Stoicism was born, this ancient philosophy continues to affect modern lives and direct the path of people who wish to pursue true happiness. Stoicism aims to find the best way to live by following certain principles designed to enhance rational thinking in every situation. Stoics are known to be masters of themselves, with the ability to manage and control their emotions. However, many struggle with applying Stoic principles to modern life. Hey there folks! Welcome back to the Stoic Life. In this video, we delve into the core teachings of Stoicism and bridge the gap between its ancient wisdom and our modern existence. Before we start, please like the video, then don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. Imagine life without the things you love. The concept of negative visualization is a solid application of Stoic philosophy. Imagine this. What if we no longer had the special things in our life, both tangible and intangible? Doing so can make us feel really grateful about what we do have. Sure, it might sound a bit gloomy, but it turns us into positive thinkers. We'll end up feeling grateful for the things we have and are motivated to utilize them to their max potential. Remember what Seneca used to say? He believed that by simply preparing ourselves for the worst, we're basically stealing the power from all those negative things. Don't fall prey to modern society's materialistic nature. Stoics advise us to avoid falling into the trap of our society's rampant materialism. Coming from an ancient philosophy known as Stoicism, the wisdom here is the true key to happiness isn't about filling your life with stuff, but about growing your inner virtues and wisdom. Stoics tell us we should work on enhancing things like courage, wisdom, justice, and self-control. Once we do that, they argue, we'll find a peaceful and fulfilling existence that doesn't depend on what's happening around us. The basic idea is to step away from that hamster wheel of always trying to get the newest model or shiniest blink. Instead, Stoics recommend we find joy in here and now, building a way of thinking that prizes personal growth, real virtue over the shiny but short-lived attractions of materialism. Picture a life without the people and possessions you have to truly appreciate them. We've come to understand that chasing after more usually ends up in frustration. So, how do we uncover joy? It's all about being thankful. We need to value what we have and discover happiness in it. We're lucky to be living in such an extraordinary time in history, where basic needs and unbelievable tech advancements are at our fingertips. But too often, we don't recognize these gifts, and instead, take them for granted. One effective practice among Stoics is to envision losing some of your precious belongings. By visualizing these losses, we tend to appreciate what we do have even more. But hey, we shouldn't get too attached to our stuff either because it might not always be there. So, what does it mean to be a Stoic? Well, it's all about finding joy through whatever you've got. If you get too hung up on a thing and it goes away, a true Stoic won't be upset or annoyed. Instead, they'd feel a sense of gratitude for ever having that thing in the first place. After all, everything we have is just on loan from the universe. Be genuinely cheerful in all your interactions. We've come to realize that true happiness isn't all about the external stuff. It's mostly about appreciating the small things in life, like being able to buy a bottle of water for $1 from a nearby vending machine. Really makes you think about how often we take things for granted, right? The Stoic philosophy teaches us that we can find joy independently of everything else. As Stoics, our ultimate goal is to experience life in its purest form. Desiring more can sometimes lead to disappointments, and that's not fun at all. But hey, this doesn't mean Stoics can't enjoy the fancy stuff. Nope, we just don't consider them as vital for our happiness. What really brings satisfaction is doing good in the world, like lending a hand to someone in need or contributing to societal progress. The amazing thing is, we all have the power to do that daily. Practicing your values beats preaching them. Embracing Stoic philosophy means taking on a lot of personal responsibility. It's not about being too hard on yourself, but rather about realizing that every choice you make has a moral aspect to it. Want to make the world a better place? 
then you need to actively practice Stoicism. Get into the habit of constantly asking yourself, what's the right course of action in this situation? Base your decisions on your own moral values and aim to contribute to the overall good. Always stay true to your morals. Personally, we've discovered that practicing Stoicism can really improve our life quality. And don't fret, Stoicism isn't a do-or-die thing. You have the freedom to pick the aspects of Stoicism that best fit your lifestyle. Embrace discomfort every now and then. Stoics are well-renowned for their ability to embrace difficulties in their lives. They believe that these challenging situations are the key to personal growth and character development. You too should resist the urge to flee from difficult situations. Do you shy away from sweat on a hot day or shudder at the idea of a freezing shower? It's time to change your perspective. Be open to experiencing discomfort by stepping out of your comfort zone every once in a while. It is in stripping away life's comforts and confronting this discomfort head-on that you truly start to appreciate the essence of life. This approach goes beyond enduring merely physical trials. It's about developing an attitude of resilience and appreciation for life as it is, not as we wish it to be. Extend this willingness to embrace discomfort to the mental and emotional aspects as well, for this will lead you on a path of meaningful self-improvement. Stand firm in the face of life's trials, just as Stoics do. After all, the most profound joys and profound growth often come from the most challenging experiences. Experience life in its raw form. This will enable you to cultivate a deeper sense of appreciation for the things that genuinely matter in life. As you embrace the path of Stoicism in this modern world, remember that it is not about becoming emotionless or detached, but rather about achieving a balanced and tranquil mind amidst the chaos of life. The wisdom of the Stoics remains timeless, offering you a toolkit to navigate challenges with resilience and grace. As you journey forward, practice the art of differentiating between what lies within your control and what does not. Cultivate your inner virtues, for they are the true measures of your character. Let go of unnecessary desires and attachments, finding contentment in the present moment and the simple joys it brings. Remember, being a Stoic is not a destination, but an ongoing practice, a lifelong commitment to mastering your reactions, owning your virtues, and embracing the beauty of an examined life. As the ancient Stoics would say, Eudaimonia, a life well lived, flourishing in wisdom and virtue. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.